For more than 100 years, Earth has been sending radio signals into space without meaning to. These signals began in the early 1900s, when humans invented radio to communicate over long distances on Earth. Once radio waves are sent out, they do not stop. They travel through space at the speed of light, moving farther away from Earth every year. Scientists call the region reached by these signals Earth's radio bubble. The first major radio broadcast happened in 1906, when music and spoken words were transmitted instead of Morse code. Even though people stopped hearing the broadcast, the radio waves themselves continued traveling outward. Over time, many more signals from radios, televisions, and radar systems followed. Together, they formed a growing bubble around Earth that is now about 119 light years wide. Although this sounds large, it is very small compared to our galaxy. The Milky Way is about 100,000 light years across, so Earth's radio bubble has only reached a tiny part of it. Some nearby stars, including the closest star systems, are already inside this bubble. However, this does not mean anyone there can clearly hear us. As radio waves travel farther, they become very weak and mix with natural noise from space. By the time they reach other stars, they are almost impossible to detect. Modern technology also sends out fewer signals into space than older systems, making Earth quieter over time. Earth's radio bubble shows how young human technology is and how vast space truly is. Our signals exist, but they are faint and small in the endless universe.